I'm Michelle Bernstein, and welcome to Check, Please, South Florida, the show where regular people from all over South Florida recommend and re But first, wine educator Ted Task says his neighborhood dive bar is perfectly aged and full of color, but it's the fresh seafood, the nightly specials, and the generous bar pours that draw in a crowd. He recommends you forego the white tablecloths, grab a bar stool, and get ready to taste some of the best crab cakes in town. It's in Green Acres, and it's called Eagle Grill and Oyster Bar. Eagle Grill is a neighborhood joint with good food and great service because we realize most of our customers like to go out for dinner uh, and have some good food but not spend too much. And that's really become the foundation of our restaurant. You know, we have a very large, diverse crowd from young to very old. My average demographic is late 40s to early 70s, although we do have families come in, uh, but mainly it is a little bit of an older crowd. Um, and we've always been sort of a seafood-oriented restaurant. We have a raw bar, uh, but the real focus has been, the, the success factor has been the crab cakes. They become our signature item and something that's been a real draw for us. Uh, it's all jumbo lump, blue crab, uh, Gulf of Mexico, almost no filling. It's just all crab meat. Uh, our gumbo is another special of ours. We have a lot of people from Louisiana like that. We do baby back ribs, uh, which are very good. We have a lot of fresh fish on the menu. But we also have burgers, wings, uh, steaks, filet mignon, uh, a pretty large, broad menu. And pretty much anybody can find something on the menu they like. A lot of our customers come in several times a week. Uh, we have wonderful regulars who have been very supportive of us over the years. You don't really come here for the atmosphere. Uh, we like to refer to ourselves as a joint. We realize we're a, we're a neighborhood joint. It's about the food, it's about the service. Uh, and we really owe our success to two things, and that's our staff and our customers. Wow, Ted, so we talked, and you're from Maryland, so you know a good crab cake, right? Um, absolutely. We got a phone call one night friends of ours from Maryland who have matriculated and they said we found real crab cakes and we went to Green Acres which of course every time we go through town we sing the song I'm sure you from do. the TV okay. show this is lump crab with very little egg white binding period on Tuesday nights they have a six dollar price reduction mm -hmm. and I don't have to tell you with snowbirds especially my age the minute you give them a bargain they're going to <laughs> be any kind of a discount and they're waiting in line right Lanisha you went on Tuesday right yes and I did not expect the crowd um, I took my son and so I'm thinking oh it's a Tuesday night it's not going to be crowded oh, <laughs> and so it, the parking lot was full mm -hmm. and uh, there was a little bit of a wait mm -hmm. and we said well we'll try the crab cakes. They were awesome. And I usually don't eat seafood, mm -hmm. um, but every once in a while I'll cheat. Mm -hmm. um, and I did enjoy them. The service, they did apologize for the wait. But if you're not concerned with the price tag, we, you, we go any night of the week. There's always a good piece of snapper and they know how to cook fish. And they do a light butter and wine sauce, which I say leave on the side, and they're very gracious about that. They also have Danish back ribs, you know, it's a smaller rack, they're more delicate, everything's... Any of you have dessert? I'm sure they have a key lime pie. Yeah, there's a key lime pie and there's, there's a chocolate brownie... So it's kind of safe desserts. Gotcha. Oh yeah. Okay. So how was the service? The service was pretty good. Um, there were some times when I needed my glass refilled mm -hmm. and it and Maybe because it was such a crazy day. I think so. They so did. you went on a slow night. How was we did. Slow? Well, it was slow when I got there, but by the time we were getting ready to leave, asked for our check, it was filling up, and they only had one server on the floor, and he was quite overwhelmed. He was doing the best he could, but we just moved over to the bar, and uh, they have a really nice scotch selection, and my boyfriend's a big scotch fan, so, you know, we had an after-dinner drink while we waited on the check, and it was fine. You had a burger, right? I did. How was that? It was okay. It wasn't the transcendent burger experience. Right. But but it was, it's a bar burger. Right. Yeah, but you go there for the crab cakes, yes. for the fish. It's a good <laughs> bar. It's a very good bar. I would definitely go back to watch football. It's a neighborhood joint, right. is the way I phrase it. Is it easy to find? Yes. Um, it wasn't too difficult. I saw the little crowd outside, so I was like, oh, okay. This Tuesday is night. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of one of those places, though, you could drive by a hundred times and never notice it. There's not a lot of signage. Um, 
But it, it's easy to get in and out of. I mean, jog roads, you know, it's it's great for zipping around. Yes, it so is. it's um exactly. You're right. And my son noticed that the crowd appeared to be very elderly. On a Tuesday night, with all the bargain hunters, yes, you're going to find a bunch right. of them there. How's the ambiance? It was down home. Kind of um, rustic, you yes. know, rustic. Wood. It kind of is what it is. Yeah, I like the is. wood so benches, the wood benches and tables. Right. I, I like that. So. Yeah, it's an oyster bar. Well, Ted, Eagle Grill was your choice. Sum it up for me, please. Go there for a great crab cake, and I don't care what anybody else says. They really are Maryland style. Lanisha, go on a Tuesday night and get a great deal on some great crab cakes and a great down-home atmosphere. You can crack open a good meal at Eagle Grill and Oyster Bar located at 4636 Jog Road in Green Acres. Open daily for lunch and dinner. Reservations are not accepted and the average price for dinner without drinks is about $40.